All right. Uh, hey, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> okay, let's go. <clears throat> hey, what's up, chat? It's your boy Zonris again. And before we start, let me quickly explain because I can already see the question in chat. What in the world is Metroid Deep Freeze? You never heard of it. And it's probably true, you never heard of it. Because this right here is a ROM hack of Metroid Zero Mission. And for all of you folks in chat who never don't know what a ROM hack is, it's basically just uh, the main game. You take the main game and you fiddle with it, you change layouts, you change the game a bit, and there you go, you have a ROM hack. And that's basically what this is. It's a Metroid Zero Mission in slightly different form. Alright, run starts in 3, 2, 1, POG! Alright, normally I skip this right here in a speedrun, but I read it for you guys. <clears throat> a space dragon and its metallic recreation decided to flash freeze an unknown planet. Their motives are unclear, but I do not care what they are. I am bored, so I will hunt these heathens and brutally kill them to alleviate my boredom. My The metal one is my main target, but killing both would be radical. Samus, created by Captain Glitch. Yeah, let's start there. Um, this ROM hack right here was created by a lovely fellow called Captain Glitch. He's a cool dude. I have been able to talk with him like a few times. He's pretty chill. Um, he created this entire ROM hack right here in a span of a single month for a ROM hacking contest. Um, yeah, you had a month time to create a Metroid ROM hack of any game. And the like the challenge or like the, the special theme of the ROM hack is is like winter stuff. So that's why you can see everything is like freezing and cold and you know all that good shebang. Uh, whoops, and yes. Um, it's a it's a cool little rom hack. If you play it casually, you should be able to finish it in like an hour and 30 minutes or so around. And I one day found this rom hack by chance, played through it casually and decided, hey, let's let's speedrun this rom hack. This uh, this seems cool. And that's exactly what I did. Because I also run the, the normal Metroid GBA games, so Metroid Fusion and Metroid Zero Mission. I thought this is like perfect. And yeah, generally, as it is in most Metroid games, you know, you play as Samus Aran, the space bounty huntress. And you collect a bunch of cool items and stuff and kill the bad guys. Right here, um, as it should be shown in, in the overlay, this is the 100% category. Which means we will be collecting everything there is to collect in this short but sweet ROM hack. Uh, that includes some missile upgrades, some super missiles, energy tanks, and um, power bombs, and of course all of the upgrades to the suit. And coming up to our first boss. If you played Metro Zero Mission, this guy should look familiar to you. This guy. And there you go. You shoot him a bunch with your missiles and he did. Uh, funnily enough, he's also the only... The only mandatory boss you need to beat in order to get to the final boss. So, technically, right now, I could go to the end of the game and beat the game. 
world record for any percent of this ROM hack is like, whoops, that that's not what I intended to do. Uh, world record for any percent is like four minutes and fifty seconds or something crazy like that. I don't quite remember. It's really short. Oops. Yes, exactly. That's that boss was called Imago. But something very cool that exists in this speedrun. Uh, there, there's a there's a secret room in this game. And that secret room, you can only access if you kill two more, quote unquote, secret bosses. They're not really secret, but they're optional. Let's say it like that. You have to beat two more optional bosses in order to get to the secret room and you need the secret room for the 100 percent and whoops and yeah as it turns out this is actually a pretty cool a pretty cool speed game because it has Kind of multiple routes. When I first started out speedrunning this game, um, my initial route I came up with looks very different from what you're seeing right now. Oh, come on, really? Feels bad. Um, but there's another Metroid Zero Mission Runner by the name of. Hold on. By the name of Manda Tobi. He also played this ROM hack. And um, he found a few, or he. Um, he played the game and gave me a few recommendations of things that I could check out and see if they're maybe faster or not. And as it turns out, pretty much all of his recommendations are faster. And yeah, you might, oops, you might recognize this guy. This is one of the quote-unquote secret bosses. Uh, he's dead. Goodbye. Oops. Man, I'm playing terrible right now. Jesus. And yeah, he gave me a few pointers, things to test out. And all of them are better than what I initially came up with my route. Also, another cool thing in this game is that Captain Glitch changed item descriptions and names. Here, example, Screwtech was is now Overkill, and its description is Kill Everything. Screwtech is generally one of the more uh, OP items in Metroid games. It's this uh, whirling energy whenever I do a spin jump right here. And whenever I jump into an enemy, he will die, like this. Oops. And plop! So initially, in, in, my, in my first route, I, we would have picked up our first power bomb somewhere completely else, but now we're picking it up here because it's a bit faster. Oops. Yeah, power bombs are these super mega bombs that you just saw on screen. And uh, yeah, we're k k kind of in some sort of kind of spaceship kind of ish but not really oh yeah um if please don't mind these colors if you're having some problems with bright flashing colors then oof they will come back at towards the end of the game so And 
now we pick up our next upgrade, the, sp the space jump, which allows us to um, jump mid-air a few times, or like basically indefinitely. Oh no, he saw me. Why am I playing so bad? Alright, that's this part right here done. And now we're, whoops, making our way to the, uh, whoops, Jesus Christ, uh, the next boss of the game. Or rather the second optional quote unquote secret boss we need to kill in order to unlock the secret gate, the secret door, the secret room. I hope you're staying for the secret room because I, I know you guys will enjoy it. The secret room is pretty cool. Here we unfortunately need to quickly refill because we're out of power bombs and you can only open the red gates or the red doors with power bombs. And here is where we grab the ice suit, a thing that actually does not exist in the original Zero Mission game. Um, this is the best suit in the game and say hello to this guy Hello This is our friend Ridley You've heard of him if you played a Metroid game before and he's dead And now we killed both of the, the optional secret bosses and now we can make our way to the, the cool room. And plop. Grabbing some more stuff on the way. Uh, a thing that happens in this game is that if you play this for the first time you tend to get lost a bit because everything looks exactly the same. But once you get it down it's actually it's actually not that hard. So this room where I am right now in my initial first iteration of the route this is the first room we would visit and pick up all the items I'm about to pick up. Including the gravity suit right here, the second suit you can get. Which in this game is worse than the ice suit. Because the water on this planet is some special ice water. And you can't move freely in it with the gravity suit. You need the ice suit for that. So that's a neat little touch. And now we're doing a rather complicated or tricky shine spark. In order to get some more power bombs. These power bombs right here used to be the first power bombs we collect in the run, but not anymore. And now we go to the secret room, which is in here. So enjoy. Hopefully, there, there's something written here, so let's see, what does it say? Huh, interesting. Thanks, game. So most of these items in this room are fake, but there's a real one for every single item upgrade. Oh wait, that was too early, oh my god. So yeah. In, when you get into the secret room, it just says "get good," so thanks a lot, game. We just beat a, a bunch of bosses and collected a bunch of stuff, and that's what you give us. So that's not very nice, but at least it gives us a bunch of items, so that's cool. So yeah, it has uh, one up, like one expansion for um, everything: one missile, one super missile, one power bomb, and one energy tank. And yeah, this mini boss also exists. You can 
fight against this guy pretty much at the start of the at the game or the run. But we don't because we don't need to. And the charge beam is kind of useless regardless in this game and in Zero Mission. And it's a bit faster if you kill him later than sooner. And yeah, now we basically have most things, so we're making our way to the final area of the game. Shinesburg through here. And there are only two more items. Two more items and one more upgrade left, and we should have everything. Hopefully. In before jinxing myself. It feels as if something is watching you. Hmm. And there we go. Our last upgrade, the ice suit. Freeze your foes in the same way they froze the planet. And yeah, now we have everything. And conveniently, the final boss of the game is right here. Like right after you collect the ice beam. Your goal is to shoot his big glowing belly button a bunch of times with with super missiles and he's dead. Alright then, now there's like 3 minutes left of um, escape sequence. Or at least that's how much time the game gives us. Uh, again, if you're a little bit sensitive to bright flashing colors, you should look away uh, right now. Until the end of the game, kind of. Also, the game tends to lag a bit because of all these bright flashing colors. If too much stuff happens at the same time, the game is... Yeah, the game tends to lag a bit. And the FPS goes downhill. Uh, hello? There we go. Yeah, the game generously gives us five minutes to escape. We need like one and a half, maybe. Or like, yeah, one and a half sounds about right. And here is the last room of the game. There's five enemies. Dead, 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 dead. And time coming up. In now time. Also, um, these space pirates are very smart and teamwork is their priority as you can see right here. Aw. Too bad. And now we escape. As you do in your... Like, as you normally do in Metroid Zero Mission, you go into the ship and just fly away while everything explodes. Whee! Okay, so Mr. Hackman, Hack, what's uh, what's the time? It's uh, 17.13. Alright. Uh, well, since this is a Metroid game generally, you, you would watch the credits in order to see if you actually collected all the 100%. Uh, my estimate should take should account for the for that, but I can speed it up if you want me to. Uh, we are a little bit behind, so that would be great. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, I need to. I forgot what the uh, the thing is. What's the uh, uh, turbo fast forge. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm just gonna fast forward the credits real quick. So instead of two minutes, it only takes like 30 seconds, and then we can actually confirm if we if we have 100% or not. The music sounds so weird if you fast forward it. <laughs> I 
All right, let's see. <clears throat> also, this guy, we generally go by in-game time, so you see it right here. In-game 13.07, that's, uh, that's pretty okay. And my rate for collecting item is... 100%, let's go. So we did it. We collected everything, so... Uh, yeah, we did it. This is... Uh, GG. This is Metroid Zero Mission, eh, not Metroid Zero Mission, this is uh, Metroid um, Deep Freeze, like I said, ROM hack. If you want to check out some ROM hacks yourself, uh, please visit metroidconstruction.com, which is the main site for all Metroid ROM hacking things. It's There's a, there's other ROM hacks that are pretty cool, like this, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Please enjoy the rest of Hackathon, stay cool, stay hydrated, stay inside, stay safe, stay healthy. I love you guys, see you later.